Welcome back, and on this episode of Patriot Contractions, I'm walking you through how the ignition system works on a John Deere 214. It's much warmer today than the last video I shot, so very happy. Let's get to it. Okay, so now that we're over at the John Deere tractor, I wanted to inform you guys about one thing that's different about my ignition versus the ignitions you might be dealing with, is I have my ignition bypassed. I don't have an actual key switch on it. I've just got a regular switch and start button. So little different there than what most of you have. It's not actually different in the wiring though. Before I get into anything else, I just wanted to show you guys the starting system I have set up on this tractor since it's a little different than most. It's actually more basic. Without the key, you simply switch up the switch and then push the start button to start the tractor and then flip the switch down to, to turn off the tractor. Let's get into the starting system. The real basics of the starting system, most of you will already know this. Positive side of the battery comes down, goes into the starter solenoid here. Off the solenoid, when it's engaged, the power flows into your starter motor. That starter motor is grounded, which then returns ground through the engine up into the negative side of the battery. The battery is also grounded out to the frame, which is important for this model. Now into the actual ignition side of the tractor. So the power for this ignition system during startup is drawn from the positive side of the solenoid. Then comes through this little fuse relay sort of thing here up all the way into the back there. Now it's also spliced into one of the wires coming from here which is this little diode box which provides power to the motor and start system during the running operation of the engine. It won't be working during the starting system because the engine's not running fast enough. But once the engine is running, this little diode box will provide the power to the spark plug. So that diode box wire is also comes up and goes into the positive side of our switch here as well as the positive voltage from the battery. Then when that switch is switched on, it provides power to this blue line here, which is then spliced down here because there's a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to go into at the moment. Comes down and provides power to your entire starter system here, your coil. So it comes down, runs through the connector, and goes right there to the positive side of the coil. Once that coil has power, it's then controlled by the grounding out of the coil, which you can see goes down inside there and that controls the timing. So if that coil has power, that's going to provide your spark to the engine. Now there's one other thing we need to start and that's what turns on that solenoid. So that wire also comes off of the other side of the switch right here and goes over to my little button. Or if it's on a key switch, it's going to be in that last position on the start position on the key. And that provides power directly down to the solenoid to turn over the starter. Now I'm going to go into quickly some of the other things that come off of the power side of this switch right here. That includes two other wires which go to your PTO, which is your power takeoff switch that engages your mower deck or your um, snowblower in my case. And also there's a switch that turns on the headlights for the and actual mower. You know, I wonder how hard it would be to put a snow cab on that thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, but it takes me a lot of time, effort, and sometimes money to put these videos together. So, just subscribe. It'd be great. Also, be sure to check out my other videos on the John Deere 214, and also check out the new PatriotContraptions.com. I just put that together for all the inventors out there. Hopefully you guys will find some fun on that site as well. So until next time, Patriot Contraptions, hoping you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.